Hello everyone, so today we are going to check out a video extension method from this research paper called Rifle X. It means a free lunch for length extrapolation in video diffusion transformers. Basically, this is for extending video lengths longer without having looping motion, overcoming limitations from the AI video model. With one line of code, we are able to create AI video that are generated. For example, we have a 5 second video extended to 8 seconds, we have another 5 second video from Han Yuan video extended to 11 seconds, and something like that can be used for what we have in our video creations. Right now, this is very easy to implement, just one line of code, as you can see in these examples here. Although this might look like a bunch of coding programming stuff, you can zoom into this part where it's commenting on this content right here. The important part which is going to be this line of code allows us as end users to have longer length video. Even if you set longer length video created in Han Yuan video or in 12.1, your video wouldn't have looping motion after the 5 second mark. Also, it supports single GPU. And we already have that support for Han Yuan video, Wan 2.1, and Cog Video X. Let's check out how we can use that in Comfy UI. So, first of all, I am going to try out the most popular AI video running on local PCs, which is Han Yuan Video and Wan 2.1. Now the Han Yuan Video, I believe when I'm recording this video, there's news that they're going to launch the image to video model officially by Tencent, but right now, in my time of recording these video, it still only has text to video. So let's try this way first. Let's say I have a very basic text to video workflow right here. I have two LoRa models. It doesn't matter what I have in front here. The two LoRa models don't matter. But then, when I am going to make this video have a longer length without looping motion, therefore I apply the Rifle X right here, you can update the nodes and the custom nodes pack, and you will have the Apply Rifle X rope for the Han Yuan video and Wan 2.1. So in this case, I am using the Han Yuan video right here. So I'm going to double click and search for the rifle or maybe just type the keyword rifle. You are able to check out this new method to extend your video length. So in this case, I am going to apply this node called apply rifle X rope in this workflow, which is suitable for Han Yuan video. Now, this is going to connect the Honeywell video for native comfy UI nodes in here and when video, we'll talk about that later in the next example. So let's say this time I don't want to just render one or two seconds of video. Let's say if I have a five second video, a normal AI video length, and we have it side by side comparison for later. So this is the first batch of video I have generated. Now the one that I have two notes on top is just for easier remembering and labeling. This one, I applied 129 frames, which is usual for Han Yuan video. We can use those models to generate 5 seconds, and with the Rifle X rope applied, we have this result. Same prompt, same seed numbers, and we have only applied 129 frames without the rifle ropes. We also have the same result here. But then, this is normal when you are creating a 5 second video, because when the Honeywan video and some other AI models generate 5 second video, you will have the same looping of motions throughout the whole video generation. But for AI models that are created for 5 second video, when you want to create a longer length of video, for example, you have 180 frame settings here, or even 200 frames here, then usually after the 129 frames, the video will loop back to the same motions. Sometimes it will be quite disappointing if you're looking forward to having a longer video length. And by applying this Rifle X rope, you can set a longer video length, for example, 180 or 200 frames. Let's say this upcoming one, I will set 200 frames in the workflow. So that means I'm going to use 201 length and I am going to apply the Rifle X. Another example is non-Rifle X again using the same prompt seed numbers and you will see the difference. Okay, so we got another result here. I have 201 frames set for these last two video generations. The one on the right side, I'm just using the 201 frame numbers without the rifle X applied. And then the left result here, I am using both 201 frames and also the rifle X with both the same prompts and seed numbers. You see the result here. 
after the 5 seconds, when you are using it without the rifle X rope for extending longer length video, you will have some weird things going on after 5 seconds, or sometimes the AI video is going to loop back to the first frame's motions, you know, to have your after 5 seconds frames. It will be looping back again with the same motions in one video, even if you set the length to 200, which for the AI video, they are trained for 5 second video length, and it happens. So, let's bring this one into here. As you can see, after the final seconds here, we will create some weird things sometimes, or sometimes if I can try another seed number, or you guys can try other seed numbers, sometimes the weird things pop up like this, or the character herself will loop back those motions as the first second's original motions in the first seconds. Here, this is the limitation of the length of AI video that may not be too obvious. You just generate a bunch of videos and then go through, you know, bring those video clips into a video editor and obviously you will cut some of the timeline some scenes you won't feel that it's too obvious but then if you want to bring like eight seconds in this case or even a 10 seconds video so for example this one is coming from the 200 frames with rifle x rope enabled you will see at the point that we are after five seconds we will have another motion here which is the character holding up the items again and talking with lip sync and another movement. It's not going to loop back to this. The first seconds of the video, where if you see this weird thing pop up, this example, which is here, after five seconds, this frame at the six seconds is coming from the same loop of the first seconds of this video right here are almost generated the same. I can't say exactly the same, but the motions of the character, or if you're not using a character, you're using something else that will be similar to the first second. After you have the five seconds generated and go to the six seconds, sometimes you get some weird things popping up like this. But then, enabling this rifle X rope, even though we have a video length above five seconds here, and after that five seconds, we have another motion of the character holding up the items or the products that they are demonstrating and the head is moving into other motions. It's not going to loop back to the same, the character is not going to loop back to the same motions of the facial expressions. As you can see, it's almost the same motions and also having those weird things. Sometimes it happens and it might just show a looping of the video. So this is something that makes a difference when applying this method, whether you generate video above five seconds or not. This is a little trick for the AI video to generate longer lengths, enhancing or enriching your video with more dynamic motions or more expressions in your video content. And this also works for the one 2.1. And then in this text to video, I am not going to use the frame interpolations because this will of course affect the video length in between each frame. Now I will generate again, just like the Han Yuan video here. I got both results like this and you guys can see what it looks like. And the one 2.1 also works the same way here. As you can see, I have two different generations, although using sometimes the same prompts. We have different motions, but you see the same styles here, which I'm using the same prompt. The live streamer is holding a cup of coffee and talking in front of the camera, which has more motions. And after the five seconds, it's able to have not a looping style of video, that is, using the rifle X rope for one 2.1 video, where it is using normal 201 frames. You are usually going to get a looping style video motion within that video clip. That is how this works for both Han Yuan video and one 2.1 as well. But so far, I like the way Han Yuan video work more obviously seeing the difference in Hanyuan video. So that is it for this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.